Hey, it's John McNicholas. Thanks for checking out this video. We're going to do both a acoustic version and an electric sort of all-in-one version. If you like it, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Maybe there's another song or artist you'd like to see me cover. And then check out the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. You're going to get a PDF and a guitar profile of this lesson and hundreds more. Grab a guitar or two and let's play. In this video, we're going to start with the all-in-one electric guitar part of this video. If you want to see the acoustic part, just look down in the video's description and you can jump to that. So let's take a look at that intro. It's going to start with our third finger on the 11th fret of the second string, and that's actual 11th because we've got a capo here on the third, and it gets confusing when it gets kind of high up there. So we're going to start off with the third finger on the 11th fret of the second string, and we're going to have our first and third string open. And we're going to pick third string, first string, second string. Now we're going to have our first finger come down on the actual 10th fret of the third string. So now we've got... And we're going to go back to the first string. One, two, three. And then bring our second finger over to hit the actual 10th fret of the first string. And it's just going to do that over and over again. When the electric guitars do come in with a big G chord, we've got a little melody going on. And that's going to be the kind of G where you've got your third and fourth finger down on the third fret. So that's all going to be a standard G chord. And if you want to, you can concentrate on the second and third strings. Little pattern where it's going to go down. The first finger is going to grab the first fret of the second string and then off, and then it's going to go over to the third string, second fret, and then off. So it's going to do that the first time, second time. It's going to go up higher before it comes back down. And that's going to go to an A minor 7. And I'm lifting that first finger up occasionally, and then it's got that little... So he's taking his pinky and going all the way up to the 1, 2, 3, 4th fret past the capo, actual 7th on the 3rd string. So let's take a look at that little section again. Now let's take a look at the chorus part. The chorus part is going to be based around a C, an A minor with a B in the bass, an A minor 7, and then you can kind of bounce between A minor and A minor 7 in there. So. If you want to do that, that sounds really good. If you want to be more articulate and pick through it, we're going to have those same shapes, but it's going to pick through the section. We're going to start off with a C chord with our second finger off the neck. So we're going to go 5, 4, 3. And now we're going to bring our second finger down two frets past the capo on the second string, uh, third string. So that's three, open, open, second finger. And then... And that's just bouncing between the second fret and the open third and fourth strings. And it's going to do that on every chord. So that's going over to the second string. So one, 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 oh, and then two, oh, on the G string. So again, these are, because it's so close to the capo, this is from the capo. So it'll start with the C. B. A minor seven. One more time. There's a 
a ton of guitars on this track, so that's kind of an all-in-one uh, electric guitar part, because I think there's at least three guitars, and you could even simplify it further. <laughs> This G, K minor 7. And then the chorus. And then back into the verse. Let's take a look at the acoustic part. For the acoustic part, it's going to be a pretty straight-ahead strummy song. You can add more details if you want to. You can go back and look at the first half of this video with the electric, but I think this sounds great just by itself. So we'll start off with that little picking melody. You're going to have your third finger on the actual 11th fret, and you're going to have your first and third strings wide open. And you're going to start with three, one, two. Now you're going to bring your first finger down on the third string, actual tenth fret. So again, open, open, second string, first finger down on three, and then open, eight, open, or open, eleven, open, and then you're bringing your second finger down for the actual tenth fret on the first string. simple? Eh, eventually. Let's get into the strummy verse. We're going to start off with a G chord. Capo 3, so it's really a B flat. Now we're going to go to an A minor 7. And right at the end of every little pattern, I'm bringing my first finger off, because you can hear that you can hear that B chime through. So starting off with the G. A minor 7. And then it's just going to go back and forth. Now it's going to get to the chorus part. The chorus part is just kind of a walk down from C to that B in the bass to A minor 7. And you can use your little third finger there on the A minor to 7 to bring in the A occasionally. So C, now with the B in the bass to A minor 7. So your first finger is going to stay on that second string, one fret past the capo, that whole pattern. And that's the whole song. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Maybe there's another song or artist you'd like to see me cover. And then check out the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. You're gonna get a PDF of this file as well as a guitar profile you can play along with for this song and hundreds more. I'll see you in the next lesson.